do next time I see her. You didn't hold my hand, Yuki-san? Oh, you're about to catch these hands. What the, what the, what the? Anyway, welcome back to P3 Reload, everybody. Last time, we royally screwed up with the Justice Social Link. I don't know if reversing is still in the game or whatever, but apparently, yeah, I, I, I should have not fixed my hair in front of her and instead gave her a kiss or held her hand. Despite that, though, I mean, that, that ship's already sunk. Let's just start a new social link with a remarkably unapproachable man. Hi there. You have a card above your head. Did you know that? Where's my booze? Uh, the lazy-eyed monk is drinking. I muster up the courage to talk to him, which makes sense. I don't know if I'd be able to interrupt this guy. Looks pretty preoccupied. Where's my booze? I got nothing to say if you don't got any booze. Oh, uh, oh, oh, right. I guess we have to get him. I mean, I, I, mean, I cannot legally distribute alcohol. Right. What do you want? A drink? You're in a rage, aren't you? No, it's for the monk upstairs. Uh, a likely story. No, no, it's the truth, I promise. Ah, uh, so you say. Look, I'm busy here. And something like this could really get me in trouble. Okay, how about this? Can you go around and take everyone's orders? If you do that, I'll bring a drink upstairs for him. Oh, okay, that's clever. All right, so let's... Oh, God. Oh, God, and it's all loud in here and friggin'... Ugh. You're taking orders? Okay, can I have a margarita? Okay, it's pretty simple. Mm, what do I feel like? I wish I should have checked my horoscope for today's lucky drink. That's not a thing. Maybe I should get an apple martini. Okay, apple martini. Ah, uh, too sour. Oolong tea. Okay, oolong tea. That's kind of boring. I have a bloody me. Oh my god. Dude, F this. Yo, you want something? He looks a little busy. You got the same wallpaper as Fuka. Hmm. Anyway, oh, I gotta focus. Free. Are you trying to hit on me? Are oh, you just taking orders? <sighs> I have a screwdriver. Wait, make that a margarita. Actually, scratch that. I'll go with my original order. It's a screwdriver. Okay, screwdriver. Screwdriver. What do you want? Oh, you taking orders? Give me a ginger ale. Like a normal one. Ah, wait. I changed my mind. Make that oolong tea. Okay. So, one of them went into Bloody Mary. He, She wants screwdriver because, you know, I'm not going to... I'm trying to like, carpamentalize what everyone's orders were. I think I got it. I actually think I got it. Okay. Hopefully it's like multiple choice. If it is, I mean, how else would they do this? Would that girl want the entrance? <laughs> Dark bit. No, okay, it says beer. I thought it said bear. Pretty sure Margarita, because she's got hair like Marge. She doesn't, but, you know, bear with me. What about you? Was a girl stand by the table in black one? Oh. She's superstitious. So she wants a Bloody Mary. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. And Screwdriver, I already know that one because she's, you know, she did not come here to dance. That's how I remembered that. I'm, I'm trying, I'm just trying to be polite and honest with you. All right, what? he he wants oolong tea, but it's not an option. Is it? Oh no, it's right there, thank God. Please, please, I don't want to do this over again. This is such a pain in the butt. Hey. You got everyone's orders right, thanks for your help. Okay, thank God. Woo, am I good or am I good? Uh. So what do you want again? To give the guy, yeah, get him a drink. Oh yeah, bet he wants some brandy. Okay, I'll serve him a glass just for you. He don't seem like a bad kid. It looks like I gained his trust. Yeehaw. Go ahead and let him know his drink's coming up. Okay. See you around. Actually, I shouldn't see you around. Freaking. Oh, where's my drink? I told him I ordered his drink. That must have impressed the monk. Seems to have taken an interest in me. You look awfully young, kid. Still in high school? What are the employees here thinking, like someone like you in? Yeah, there's not really a bouncer at the door. I kind of just walked in. It's kind of weird. Well, uh, since you got me a drink, I'll pretend I'm your guardian so you don't get thrown out of here. <laughs> Take a seat. So kind. Well, come on, kid. Sit down. Look up at you, straining my neck. So, <laughs> wanted to see where adults spend their time, huh? Not that I can't relate. I like him when he's smiling. He's just so expressive in this version of the game. Well, don't worry. Oh, there Two goes. Two or three more years, you'll be old.
old enough to hang out here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Trying to act like an adult just makes you look more like a kid. You know? He's spitting facts. I've observed that. You're really still playing video games at your age? So like, yeah, bro, they're fun. What do you do? Eat salad? Come on. Drinking cigar smoking monk, huh? Oh, so you're self aware. Mm. Is alcohol good for you? It can't be, right? Well, some people like it. So I guess it is? Probably. I have no idea. <laughs> I just drink to get drunk. When you get drunk, it makes you feel good. What about after? Young people always think the grass is greener on the other side. Well, don't get your hopes up too high, kid. That way, you won't be disappointed when things don't work out. There might come a time when you'll have to drink when you don't want to, and smoke just to get through the day. Hmm, I'd like to avoid that as much as possible. There are nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. <laughs> I'd say the same for my son, though. Always being taken in by the police for questioning. It's disgraceful. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna remember your face, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out. Got it? Uh, uh, I'm getting missed signals here, boss. Okay. I became acquainted with a very strange monk. I guess people love to overshare when they're, uh, hitting the bottle, but... As we climb the Tower of Demise, the power of the tower rises. No, literally, just as we're reaching the conclusion of P3, this arcana will get more and more useful. Funny how that works. Well, when you've had your fill, hit the road. And don't come back. I decide to go back to the dorm after a pretty uneventful day of being a busboy and dealing with clients. Honestly, not sure what to make of the old monk. I do swear, he, he mentioned something he didn't mention before, though. Eh, I could be wrong. What is your class doing for the culture festival? You know what? A haunted house. I'll be stuck playing the ghost. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. I'm just show up and put on that costume. I actually need to practice for a magic show. I also heard a typhoon is on its way. It's a big one. Are people really gonna turn up? I'm gonna turn up in my ghost costume. But yeah, it might get canceled, I don't know. There's a big storm coming this way too. Oh goodness, it's terrifying. Oh good, sorry, Mr. Oichi. We're starting a new chapter today. This one's all about Nick's tough situation. You know, the story reminds me of when I first met my husband. What a wild time that was. I'm getting the feeling uh, some of her co-workers might not like Miss Teruchi. At first, we were somewhat distant after spending enough time together. One day, I suddenly realized that he was my better half. I just came up with a good question, Mr. Yuki, since her eyes met first. Who is one referring to when speaking of a better half. Their soulmate, Miss Teruchi. Well, what does this have to do with algebra? Are you the math teacher? No, that's the other one. Uh, what, do, what do you teach exactly? Wonderful. Your better half is considered your soulmate. The person you're destined to be with. Someone who you never want to leave and will treasure always. I believe whoever makes you feel this way is your soulmate. Someday if you ever meet someone who makes you feel like that, accept your feelings and your better half with open arms. Wow, look at the time. Let's get back to the lesson. Yes, please. Friggin I personally don't agree with that. I don't know. I think that discounts the energy. Like, you know, true love. 
I think discount, the more romantic interpretation is like, hey, we are flawed people, but I like you and I want to work on it. I don't know. Can you change my mind? What do you think of that, Igus? Everyone seems excited about the upcoming festival. I've yet to experience such an event, so I cannot relate. Hey, it's going to be your first time, though. It's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. Oh, yeah. Big guy. Hey, the festival's in the week, isn't it? Man, I'm so busy thinking about Chidori that I completely forgot. Well, uh, screw that. Got enough on my plate, so I'm going to slay. Yeah, I mean, he, he realistically should. He could have died. He could have died that full moon day. I'm still thinking about that, and I'm thinking about what is going on here. Could it be? Oh. Oh. You here again? Can a man sit on his crate in peace? My bad. <laughs> Guess not. Sorry for calling you up so suddenly. You got a minute? Something I want to talk about. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. I got a favor to ask you. Give this to Kirijo. Preferably while you're at school. Oh man, I'm a messenger boy, am I? I haven't suddenly decided to go back to school or anything. That's a form to extend my leave of absence. Don't make much sense to be in an extracurricular squad if I get expelled. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I kind of see the logic. But... I'll drop it if I can stay absent from school. Turn this in yourself? Why are you giving this to me? I feel like just Shinjiro does not like crowded places. So, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Going myself would be more of a pain than it's worth. And how do you think I feel? Plus, it seems like Kirijo depends on you. She does? You really think so? It should be pretty easy to hand it off if you do it at school. I'll pay you back for this. So help me out, all right? Hmm, you should have a hard bargain, Mr. Aragaki. Have you talked to Sonata? Ooh. I feel like he will get upset if we pick this, but... <laughs> YOLO? This has nothing to do with him. I know, but still, can you, get, can you guys just be friends again? God dang it. Besides, I already know what Aki would say. I don't doubt it. Whatever. I'll do it. Huh. I don't see you two together very often. Uh, what? what are you guys doing back here in the middle of the day? What are you doing here in the middle of the day? Uh, that envelope. I got the text. That how did how did he know? I'm guessing that's not the form for returning to school. Are you smiling? Hey. Yo. If Shinji keeps this up, you'll be his classmates next year. Hey, that wouldn't be so bad, would it? You and Junpei should practice addressing him casually. In fact, no. go ahead and boss him around a bit. You're so bad. <laughs> I'd rather get expelled. <laughs> We're going to finish the battle this year. I've got no reason to stay enrolled after that. <sighs> Shinji. Come on. You know exactly how concerned Mitsuru is about you. You know what this form means to her, don't you? That, yeah, you just be taking that care and consideration and kind of saying you don't care. Don't tell me you forgot your promise. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to drag you into my problems, but still counting on you for that. Oh, goodness. What's she going to do? Shoot the messenger? I don't... Oh. I've never seen Shinji ask someone else for help with his own problems before. He'd never say it out loud. But I think he really trusts you. All because I said, Teach me how to cook, senpai! Not as much as you, though, man. That bond is clear to see. I don't know. Yeah, we've known each other a long time. But sometimes, being too close to somebody can have its drawbacks. I'm not going to nag Shinji about going back to school anymore. Just do what you think is best. I'll leave it to you. He phrases it that way, and now I'm... Now I'm a little concerned. Is there, like, branching paths here? Feel like my academics improved after thinking about what's on Aragaki's mind. Okay... There's only three stats. Some of them gotta be goofy like that. I, that is... That is a big stretch, though. 
What's, what's gonna happen if I don't hand in the envelope, though? Oh man, I'm, I'm really worried. So concerned. Ah, uh, what are you doing here? Wait, whoa, 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 what do you wanna do today? Yes. Is there something I can assist with? Oh, she wants a specific, I, oh yeah, the oil! I see you're looking for oil. That is something I do use regularly. I have a large stock of silicone oil. It works well with precision components. If you like, you may have some for free. What a steal, as they say. <laughs> Karamar says he's got a very tasty meal from Aragaki. He was very excited to mention that he won over his stomach. I'm okay, you already said that. What the? Why was our new speech bowl? That's weird. That reminds me. We've defeated nine shadows. That means only three remain. That's fantastic. We're so close to the end. Keep up the good work. We'll do. We'll do. Oh, hey. We can do this today. Hey, I borrowed some more of that manga from last time. Got way more volumes this time. Carry them all up was a drag, though. Well, you went through all the effort. Let's check them out. Aw, oh, yeah. That's all I like to hear. Man, our hero took an underdog baseball team that didn't even have enough players all the way to nationals. I know it's crazy, right? No matter how tough the rival or desperate the situation, the hero always ends up finding a way. Hey, we're technically a team too, aren't we? Means we need a hot shot of our own, right? You got a point. And we also barely had a few members. You know, the parallels are palpable, Junpei. You're on to something. <laughs> Don't sweat it. We've already got ourselves a major hot shot. Me. I was thinking the same. Everyone else has got their own strengths. Kind of like the characters in a manga. Either way, kind of blows a real life can't be like how it is in a manga. Anywho, on to the next page. Oh yeah, that's right. Just before the big game, the hero collapses. All after getting everyone together, training like crazy, becoming a hot shot hitter, and carrying the whole team all by himself. The young hero's dedication filled me with courage as... Junpei, I, I've never seen him talk about anything this passionately before. He is, he is enamored with this story. I love it. Dying to know what happens next, huh? Then I'll borrow the rest of the volume from my buddy. Hey, I'll be there when when you're here. You know, I know he's busy lately, but that was a good one. Freaking! I know playing professionally is hard because there can only be so many teams. But man, he truly did love sports. But something happened. I don't know. I guess life just got more complicated. Yo, just three shadows left. Only three more weeks until the next one appears. Personally. I'd rather take on all three at once to save us the trouble. Ah, uh, that is crazy. Bro, no. <laughs> You're right. Every enemy we face has been stronger than the last. Since we're getting more manpower, it should be easier to defeat them. Can't wait for the next full moon. Looking forward to it, bro. Truth be told, I am. Though we do have to go to Tartarus at some point. I'll admit, now that they've added people getting lost inside of Tartarus, that has been screwing me up. I feel like the gaps between times we visit have gotten larger and larger. That's for the best, right? You know, give more variety to the playthrough. I heard a rumor that you went to Kurijo Senpai's <gasps> vacation home. Not only that, but Takaba, Yamagishi, and I guess were there too? And the best part of the rumor is they were all wearing bathing suits. Is that true? Well, they didn't go there and like, you know, Sweaters, but yeah. No way, are you serious? Wait, don't say anymore. I can't take it. Why are you so lucky? I gotta play with a crab, too. Why isn't that a part of the rumor? I'm curious. Oh, yo. I usually see Komaru in front of the dorm. The other day, I brought him along with me on a jog. It was a good workout. You should hang out with him sometime. That is our indicator. There's a Link episode for him. Son of a gun. I'm worried. Listen, I know the game has to be balanced enough to where we can do enough Link episodes, but I'm so sweating, bro. Are we gonna have time to do every social link? Ah. There you are. How'd it go? E Is that? No. I handed over the form. I'm sorry, don't, don't get mad at me. Right. 
I thought as much. He's certainly stubborn. I'll give him that. But this is his decision. There's nothing more we can do. I apologize for making you run back and forth so much. Now, I, I, I need the cardio. Thanks to you, I think I can finally lay this matter to rest. I appreciate your help. Hmm, tell me what's going on. I'm not that bold. That's kind of impolite. We're also doing a playthrough, so F it. I'm gonna be brazen. <sighs> After everything you've done, I suppose I do owe you an explanation. But not here. Let's relocate to the student council room. I assure you it won't take that long. I don't think I ever told you about how things were before you joined. Seas originally started off with only three members. Back in middle school, I invited Akihiko to join, and Aragaki followed him soon after. <gasps> we had no idea what we were doing back then. What the dumb? We were young, inexperienced, and we had almost no intel to work off of. You're kidding me. We could barely even make it past the entrance to Tartarus back then. Actually exploring the tower like we're doing now was nothing more than a pipe dream. Even with all our shortcomings, we worked decently as a team. As peers, it was easy for us to connect, and the work was hard but fulfilling. Uh, I wish I could have been there. Sound <laughs> sounds like quite the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not complaining about our current circumstances. We've discovered how to eliminate the Dark Hour, and we've since grown much stronger. However, after what happened in Yakushima, and with Aragaki rejoining, it's hard not to remember the old days. Maybe I'm so concerned about re-enrolling him in school because I'm still living in the past. I don't think- I don't think she's in the wrong here. She's just, she's just concerned for him. And she may feel some semblance of guilt for putting him in such a deadly situation and getting nothing out of it. Now that he's rejoined, it's like, well, hey, let me please take care of you. And having that, like, not to say it was, like, blown up in her face, but taking that rejection. Mitsuru is feeling a lot right now. Why is his attendance so vital? I mean, we know why. Like, we, it's not hard to see through the mask. Well... Oh, there's more. <gasps> Sometime after we started working as a team, we all came to an agreement. We promised we'd all graduate together. No. No one left behind. No way. Akihiko was just as reckless back then, too. Our Gaki was always the one reminding him that our lives were at stake. Although his wording certainly wasn't quite <laughs> so thoughtful. <laughs> yeah, you might be paraphrasing a bit. Hmm. Thanks for this. This is actually wonderful. It's a real, real picturesque. <laughs> it suits him, doesn't it? I guess you've gotten to know him well. Ever since he left the team, he's acted like he's wanted to punish himself. It's almost like he just wants to waste away. I'm hoping he'll remember his promise and take a step back and look at himself. That's why I gave you the paperwork to get him back in school. That was my last hope, but I suppose it didn't work out. I'll tell Akihiko myself. All right, I'll take this. I'll start on the process for extending his leave of absence. It seems like Mitsuru and Sonata were really hoping Aragaki would return to school. Should think carefully about whether or not to hand this over. What's the matter? Uh, uh, oh, what's going on? Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, sure. What's wrong, though? Is it missing a page? I... I'll let you handle it, then. Make sure to let Aragaki know as well. Extension. We got the extension form. Okay, this is a new system. I'm not... <sighs> Dude, once we beat all the shadows, he can come back to school. He should come back to school. The burden will be lifted. God dang it. I took the leave of absence extension form and left the student council room. Maybe I should look for Aragaki and get him to reconsider. Yes, yes, okay, good. 
Good. Good, 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 good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, baby. It's been like effing 10 months since I talked to you, but let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, so it's been a while, Kiske. My bad. Oh, you know, freaking. Uh, 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 I can teleport. Oh, he's not there today. Freaking. Okay, Cormar. This game, man. This game rocks. I freaking love all the new content. You know, sometimes, like, listen, I'll, be, I'll be keep it real. All right. I love Persona, but I'll be editing these videos all day. Think about the plots all day. And sometimes they're corny. Sometimes they're mad corny. When they add new stuff to an existing game. Not this time, though. Not this time. Dog. What's up? Let's, let's hang. I gotta see what you get when you, you know, we finish all these. Well, we're people watching. It's a little rude, but, you know, they just... They, that is rude, man. <laughs> I don't like doing it. That voice. Oh. Who is this? Uh... It really is. I'm so glad to see you again. Yo, what's up? I was worried when I didn't see you at the shrine gate. Oh yeah, he relocated. Sorry about that. But here you are, looking better than ever. Oh, she's a fan. Komaru is a lady killer, is he? Ooh! <laughs> he is. <laughs> and so well dressed. You've become quite the fashionista, haven't you? No, oh, thank you, thank you. It was my, it was my idea, really. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Do you live in the store? Is Koromaru in good hands here? The best ever. He's eating like a king lately. It's a give and take relationship. It literally is, but let's keep gentlewoman's mind at ease. <laughs> Wait, no, this is way funny. No, he takes care of me. It's crazy. Oh, is that so? Yeah, he's killing it out there. I can see that actually. Koromaru looks much more grown up now. I'm glad you found somewhere you can relax again. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, don't you worry about a thing. You can live wherever you choose. I have to get going. Take care now, the both of you. Dang, he was an actual celebrity in this part of town. Oh, yo, what's up? Oh no, he's so I can't handle it. <laughs> What's wrong, Koromaru san? I see. So that's what's troubling you. That woman from earlier, she offered to take Koromaru san in at one point. But at the time, he still had unfinished business to attend to. Of course, she is unaware of that fact. So in all likelihood, she may still carry the wrong impression about Koromaru-san's feelings. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, I mean, once we beat all the shadows, screw it. Like, she can, you can, you can get adopted. It's fine. I mean, would he like that more than hang out with us? Cause, you know, eventually we gotta graduate. We have to make things right with that lady. Okay. I didn't get her name. Oh, she's back. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, I'm not star. I mean, it's just, I, you know, I just assumed you'd be here. How did we find you? This is a big city. I. Is everything all right? Now should I tell her about Komar's true feelings? We're doing this now. Can't talk about personas or the dark hour. Hmm. Would this happen to be about Koromaru? Dang, you are perceptive. I mean. He had a reason? We can't tell her we can understand dogs. But that is... Yeah, kind of, you know, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know Koromaru has his own reasons and his own problems. He's such a sweet, smart boy, isn't he? Goodness, you really love him. Gosh. So really, I'm all right. But thank you for being so thoughtful. You sure? The way he's by your side. He looks just like he did when he was with the priest. He must really trust you from the bottom of his heart. Oh, wow. Please, take good care of Koromaru. Yeah, I got him. Don't worry. <gasps> what? Are you sneaking up on me? Looks like Koromaru heard everything. Really has been blessed with so many wonderful friends. 
be sure to cherish them, okay? You'll be at that dorm from now on, won't you? <laughs> well, I'll have to visit you again then. No, she's gone so soon? <sighs> well, I guess the Link episode has to end itself, boy. Oh my god, like, she's just so... Man. Yet again, we s the way we see the world through other people's lenses. Gives us a lot of insight. I butchered that phrase, but you effing get it. No, I don't. Come on, man. Okay. Did you... Did I, have a I took an overjoyed Koromaru on a walk. For going home, all right. Yeah, get some of that energy out. Okay, okay. A little boost to his agility. All right, not bad. I do. I, is there a system to where we can check on the link episodes themselves? Welcome back. I don't know. How was your day? Freaking made me want to cry, the lady. <laughs> Her voice was so sweet, it almost gave me diabetes. I heard that Chidori-san is starting to open up a little. It seems like she's still uncomfortable talking about personas. It might be some time before she's ready. That's fine. So I have three shadows to worry about. Let's focus on that. I'd be sorry they ever set foot into this world. True. True, he's spitting. Aragaki-san used to frequent the outskirts of Port Island Station. The only reason he is still alive is because of his knowledge of self-preservation and defense. Those skills make him quite a valuable ally in battle. Jeez, I don't really think about that. Yeah, where do you go if you have nowhere to go? Guess that explains his really long hair. Dang, I never really thought about that. Yes. Got three shadows left. Whew. I was thinking that makes my body tense up. Maybe I'll beef up my training a bit. Bro, as if you weren't at max load already, hello? Honestly. Dude's crazy. You can't make the muscles grow any faster. Well, I don't know if that's true. A typhoon threatens to cancel the festival. It's a shame. A student council president, I have invest a lot of time in organizing it. Hope we'll still be able to hold the festival, but I suppose all we can do is trust in Providence. It's kind of a... I won't say it's a crazy way of talking about it, but it's just really... sounds a little odd. So, uh, yeah, Chidori's gonna need some time to cool down. So I'm thinking to give her some space before even thinking about going steady. And no shortcuts, of course. You know, I, you know we're taking the golden road. I'll get the ring, you know. And yeah, it's gonna be hard, but... I don't think it's a bad thing. For her, it's worth it. That's what I'm saying, bro. Putting in the work, putting in the effort into the relationship makes it all the more sweeter. Uh, look. Just like Shinji, man, no. <laughs> One time, I brought a lost kid at the strip mall at the police station. Turned out he was the son of a fishmonger. And he thanked me like crazy. <sighs> Why am I telling you this? You ain't in a hurry. Let's cook. Okay, wait, a new ability? Did I read that right? I'm go fast for two people to do it together. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. What are we making today, boss? It's a box full of... What? What? We're making McDonald's? It's full of sawdust! Today, we're using that to make tempera balls. <laughs> what? Go ahead and take out what's in the box. Um, it's a box of shrimp. Oh, that's why I was talking about the fishmonger. Dude, I thought we were eating sawdust. Getting these delivered is a royal pain in the ass. So I went and got him just now. Yo, with whose money? Oh, Mitsuru's got him on a stipend. We're eating good. I'm going to get the other stuff ready. You focus on prepping those guys. Maybe it was a gift from the fishmonger. Mmm. I can't do I can't do living things. Oh come on, man. Alright, I got you. I won't let you down. Yeah. It's all you. Dude, he's his tone is like completely changed since we first met him. I think it's just when we're in the kitchen. I'll handle the first one. So pay attention and just do the same. I'm sorry, I'm playing favorites. I'm like I'm like I'm like screw screw Fuka, screw Kari for always spending time with Shinji. I love him. What can I say? I struggle to prep the live shrimp following Aragaki's instructions. Eh, it's your first time. It's fun. Just, you know, devein them and all that. We managed to work together to finish the tempura bowls. Ooh. It tastes pretty good. Although I guess we did use good shrimp. Yeah, that helps. You've gotten a lot better, too. You're more comfortable with the knife and fryer now. All you gotta do now is keep practicing. 
get the basics down, and just find the right way to cook the stuff you have. And that's how I was taught. Mm, you got a great teacher? Oh, yeah, who, who is that teacher? I'd say he was an oddball who couldn't mind his own business. A long time ago, I used to work part-time at a restaurant. Oh, you... So that's how you survived. The manager drilled me on how to cook. He gave me so much shit back then, but... When I think back on it now, it wasn't really a bad experience. He always used to say, learning to cook is the first step to supporting yourself. But not only that, if I didn't know how to do it myself, I wouldn't be teaching you like I am right now. I ain't gonna teach you every little thing. I can at least be here to show you how it's done. It gives me something to do, too. <laughs> yeah, hobbies are never a bad thing to have. Aragaki has a genuine smile on his face. So do I. I love this. Reminds me when I, my big bro taught me to cook. It's not actually my biological brother, but it's kind of like, you know, you know, Yuki and Shinji right now. It was similar. We were even making fish, and it was deep fried. <gasps> Auto bolster. I'm sorry I made that sound effect. Oh, the freak that was. Attack anti front at the. That's just silly. Oh, right. Let's eat up and then put everything away. That's like a ultimate temper. You can head back to your room once you're finished. I'll handle the cleanup. Really? Dang, bro. I'm gonna give some to Cora Ch What'd you call him? Hey, I gotta make Cora Morris dinner still. <laughs> Almost sounded uncool there for a second. He's got a single sweat drop on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, you like him, don't you? Admit it. You got a problem? Oh, duh. No, sir. Oh, man. New lore. Shouldn't call it lore, but generally learning new information about the members of Seas. Dog. I, I, I never really, I never actually realized till this exact moment how thankful I am that one of my favorite games of all time got a remake. Holy cow. Anyway, gossip! Hey, did you hear? Yukari Takuma is going to wear a maid dress for the culture festival. Seriously? Is this a blessing from heaven? <laughs> the archery team's doing a maid cafe. And she drew the short straw. I heard she's not stoked about it. So we gotta go support her. Okay, that guy's nice about it. Sounds like she's going to dress up as a maid for the culture festival. I... I don't know. I... I... I didn't really got the maid thing, and I'm not saying this to be contrarian. I just literally don't see the point. I think I do have a maid outfit in Final Fantasy XIV, though, so I might be a hypocrite. Huh. Anyway, whatever. I heard that Yukari-san is going to... <laughs> I guess don't gossip. Take that out of your memory banks. That's useless garbo. But yes, she will look adorable, I'm sure. I am not familiar with the concept. However... The male students in particular seem exceptionally excited. I don't get it. I don't. I actually just don't. Ah, I'm not upset. It's just like, what, am I missing out? Am I even human? Are my hormones even functioning? No legs she'll understand. Ordinary stuff. Okay, very good. I gotta skip that dialogue every time. Okay, no joke. We've been pretty light on the actual social. Ooh. This is just the Shinji episode. Also, I looked it up. The reason I bought the maid outfit in Final Fantasy is because when you dye it jet black, it looks like a gothic dress. Not because of the maid. Yeah, sure, Johnny. Whatever you say. It's the truth. Hey, what do you want? Make a habit out of this. Should I talk to Aragaki and return the leave of absence renewal form? I don't know what this does. And that's part of playing blind. So if everyone in the comment section is like, Johnny, don't, 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 don't do it! No! No! He's gonna go in your class! He's gonna be annoying! I don't I don't know what it is yet, but in the bottom of my heart, I think this is a time to be persistent. Cause we have this bond. I'm not discounting the bond he has with Mitsuru and you know Akihiko. But I'm kind of this, you know, third party. And I'm like, no, bro, I want you to come to school. Please reconsider. You want to talk about something? 
That's... Uh, let's go somewhere else. You hungry? Always am. Hmm. So, are you still carrying that thing around? Well, you, you, come on, just rethink it, please. Just for me? <laughs> I don't think that'll work. <laughs> no, it won't. Looks like you're not just playing errand boy this time. Sorry, but I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. You gotta be kidding me. You, you learned that here? I didn't know my limits, and I bit off more than I could chew. This is what I deserve. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone, and I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials! Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but it's the good memories that stay with you and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. <sighs> All right, just do what you gotta do. Damn, you really don't mince your words, do you? <laughs> but you know, that ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kirijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. Yeah, you're just something special. <laughs> Thanks. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Wow. Like Amada. He's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still gonna do whatever I can to help. But after that, I'm counting on you. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I should have been the one to hand it in. Sorry I put that on you. A genuine apology. You can head on outside. I'm paying today. You sure? Wow. Later, man. <sighs> Thanks. Money's on the counter. Thanks. Come again. <laughs> their their tones are totally different. <laughs> Did not hear him from there. Aragaki and I quietly headed back to the dorm at different times. Oh boy. Alright, that was a little heavier than the... than the drunk monk guy and getting the... freaking. But we heard it... up front. Shinjiro's days are literally numbered. How do I even begin to talk about this, bro? Oh my god. And is it just my imagination? Or have the loss been proliferating more quickly than usual lately. Uh, they were over two weeks until the next full moon, so why? Suppose we should focus on what we can accomplish right now. We'll deal with this next shadow swiftly and effectively. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Friggin, you're killing me here, man. God dang. P3 reload. What a heck. What a, what a heck of a game. Regardless, hope you enjoyed and Tune in for more episodes coming real soon. Bye.